Addiction can manifest itself in many forms. Work, exercise, or even the simple act of playing a computer game can become habit. But for a smoker, the dependence on tobacco is more than just a repeated act. It's a way of life. They say the benefits of giving up smoking increases your life expectancy by tenfold. Each time you resist that urge, you're one step closer to quitting for good. But in Project Zomboid, the chance of dying of cancer before becoming one of the mindless walkers are as likely as winning the lottery without buying a ticket. Shiny Bee had made it a month into the apocalypse, despite a few tomatoes contracting some currently unknown disease. For Shiny, things on the farm were relatively simple. A fresh vegetable soup to start the day, made entirely from organic produce grown on the farm. One could be content with this way of life, yet a craving remained, only made worse by the fact that all she needed was a light, a thought. Did she check the glove box of the minivan, or under the seat perhaps? Unfortunately no matches were to be found, but a quick scan of the glove box revealed an annotated map of Louisville, a huge city far to the north. Undoubtedly overrun at this point, but with promise of pizza and burgers, it could be tempting. Given into her cravings for a puff of that sweet tobacco and willing to quite literally bet the farm, Shiny had an idea. McCoy's logging yard. Last time we was there, it was overrun, but perhaps some of the numbers had dispersed, and if we could fight our way in, there's every chance we could find a lighter. Signs of others now recently deceased, now just flesh. Perhaps smokers risking life for a light. For now, a small feast aiding Shiny, so perhaps her presence may go unnoticed. Armed with a fire axe, Shiny breaks off the first pack. In the right hand's a devastating weapon, but for Shiny, it's gonna take some practice. With each kill, one more step towards mastery. Drawing more away from the group, Shiny slowly whittles down the numbers. But the first warehouse is locked. Perhaps if she kills what remains of the zombies inside of the warehouse, one of the workers might reveal a key. A quick glance through the pile of recently deceased bodies doesn't yield a lighter, but it does reveal a key. Perhaps the very key that will open the locked door to the warehouse next door. Unfortunately, getting inside will require a different tactic, and already way past lunchtime, the weight of the axe was becoming more than Shiny expected. The last two zombies took every ounce of strength that Shiny had left. Unwilling to sit down to gather her strength, Shiny pressed on, examining all of the crates and shelves. Yet to her dismay, there was no lighter to be found. Shiny's cravings would have to wait. So sitting down where she stood, she opened the last box of her favorite breakfast cereal. Inside was a prize, instructions on how to break dance. No doubt a valuable piece of literature. And when Shiny Bee rebuilds the world, instructions for all to follow. A short rest and a quick drink before once more an unwanted guest takes an interest. Both time and Shiny's patience were running thin. Her cravings gave in to her better judgment. She threw caution in the wind by breaking down the warehouse door with the fire axe. Each knock like a ring from a dinner bell. The first gentleman to step out wore pink shoes, leather pants and gloves. He was also topless with a woman's handbag. He in turn seemed to be followed by many more lumberjacks. But oddly, no women were to be found. On closer inspection, two of them had keys to the warehouse, which meant that all these men chose to lock themselves inside this warehouse with a man in pink shoes and leather pants. The air inside still thick with the scent of debauchery. Shiny, who was never one to kink shame, was still slightly amused at the fact that the stereotype of the lumberjack had somehow lived on, even after the human race had gone extinct. But the amusement soon gave way to the hunger that was gnawing at her. Made only worse by stumbling across the rarest tool in Kentucky, the sledgehammer. A cruel joke, but when all hope was lost, there, amongst what remained of the random crates of a village people's warehouse party, was a lighter. Finally, Shiny had found one, and a second lighter. With that, all hope was rekindled. Eager to remain and loot more, Shiny had found what she'd set out to gather and what remained of the day would soon be gone by the time she got home. With more treasures to uncover, the warehouse would no doubt be a point of interest later on. It had just gone 8pm when Shiny Bee returned to the farm. Hungry, exhausted and entirely depleted of energy, yet more zombies remained. Left alone, they would more likely draw more and would highly likely try to break in by the evening. 
With what little strength she had left, she met them head on. It takes almost two hours to fully clear the farm, but finally Shiny can get some sleep. The following day and Shiny is finally back to her old self. With that nicotine boost, she happily weeds the garden. The new cabbage and strawberry seeds found in the warehouse get sown, which will introduce a more varied diet in the future, and the rain from the night before ensures there's plenty of water. The tomatoes do yield a small amount, and a simple pesticide made from cigarettes would help kill the insects. Of course, Shiny has no intention of wasting her precious smokes in return for a better harvest. Her soup may have less tomatoes, but it tastes all the better accompanied by a cigarette. So content for the time being, Shiny Bee practices her pantsless breakdancing in preparation for a new world order. As always, a huge shout out and thank you to my patrons. And of course, Complete Games certainly doesn't endorse smoking, pantsless breakdancing, or the legal right to introduce a raccoon upon the British population. Those are all Shiny Bee's goals. Well, at least two of them anyway, because I don't think she smokes. And I'll end on this. Which one of you guys said choose the negative trait being a smoker? It's free points, James. <laughs> You'll find cigarettes everywhere, James. Till next time, I'm James from Complete Games, and I'll see ya.